Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I want to share a video with you today and it's a combined haul over the last, it's probably over the last month just when I was getting reorganised. Uh, one is from a car boot sale that I went to. One is from a ha haberdashery store that I found in London when I was up there working for the day. And the third part is an Amazon haul. And I don't really buy much from Amazon, but I got a gift voucher from work for Amazon. So I bought some stuff from there. Um, and one half was a UK seller on Amazon and one half was um, from China. So I've only got one half of it. I've got the UK half, but the China half hasn't arrived yet. So I'm going to share that with you and I think I'm going to start with the Amazon haul and I, like I said I don't really buy from Amazon very much and actually I just, because I had this gift voucher from work, I just searched lace and appliques and actually I found some, a re, some really nice stuff. Um, so I'm going to share that with you. I had seen a few of these um, flower appliques and I had wanted to buy some. They are like embroidery appliques that you iron onto clothes. So I just ordered a few because I wanted to, you know, have a play around with them and, and stuff. So I got those two. Love this one. This one I would probably use in crafting. This one I would too because um, I love them. I hope it's very early in the morning so I hope the light's not too bad. Um, I did get some that are for bigger pieces that are more for like clothing. Um, but like I said I wanted to get some and just try and see what, you know, I could use it on a cushion, I could put it onto a t-shirt. It is really pretty. And there's three parts to this one. Um, there's the second one. It is gorgeous and it? it's really nice on the black background. It would look really nice on a black t-shirt. So I'm not sure whether I'll use it in crafting or whether I'll use it on clothes. And there's the third part. So I love those. Um, and I got all these appliques and they are just gorgeous. I was so thrilled when I found them. These are a pair and they're stitched together. Isn't that beautiful? Really, really beautiful. With the little flower in the centre and then there's the second one which is upside down. So um, I've got how many of those? I got three of those ones. Yes, three of them. Um, so it's beautiful. I absolutely love these. Let me just show you. It's really beautiful. That's those. Um, I just got this little flower applique, rose applique. Um, Again, this is a pair, so they're um, stitched or held together. And this is like a, a off-white, this one. And they're just like threaded together here and here, so there's two of them. Again, beautiful. And again, I would cut these into smaller appliques if I didn't need um, this size piece. Uh, I got a pink pair, pale pink, again, which is held together here, which I love. It's a really soft pink, really pretty, and it's upside down, so let me show you the way. <laughs> That's that one. Um, oh, some butterflies, 
I think this was a pack of four, yeah. These need ironed a bit, but um, they're really cute. I will definitely be looking on Amazon again because, I mean, like I say, I don't really shop on there, but I was so pleased when these arrived. Again, this is a pair, and I love this, and then it's got a long, long, light tail. And again, there's another one the opposite way. Absolutely love that. I think, did I get two of those? I did. I got two of those. So, I'm really thrilled with that. so pretty. I was, I'm not, I wasn't like shocked but I just, you know, I'm, I've just never really shopped on Amazon so never really thought about it before. And then these ones which is upside down that way. Again, these come in a pair. And again, I could cut these into smaller pieces if I don't want to use them that size and I think I got three of these. Let me just check. Two. Yeah, three of those ones. And I am just really thrilled with them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. So that's the applique. Um there was this very, very large um, lace fabric. It's really large. Um, but it's got uh, tiny sequins on it. I'll hold it up. And it kind of goes down into a um, point. And these are huge and I think it works out four, four of these in the fabric. This is doubled over and then there's more there. But they just have tiny iridescent sequins on. Again, it would, can be cut up to make smaller appliques or, or used to cover something quite large. <laughs> So I was quite thrilled with that. And this would obviously dye beautifully this, I think. So that's that fabric. And one more thing with that was this lace. Which is just little roses and leaves, which again can be cut into smaller appliques. Um, I think there might be two yards there. Oh. Um, so that's the Amazon haul. So let me put that to one side. I have to put it away now. Um, the next part is what I found in a shop in London. And it was like a haberdashery shop. And what was a bit unusual, she sold new stuff, but she did also sell some vintage stuff. The vintage stuff was quite expensive, so I didn't buy an awful lot of that. I didn't buy much at all of the vintage stuff, but the newer stuff was quite cheap, so... Um, she had lots of small bags of appliques. And they came in like um, these bags of ten. So if I show you. So there's ten in here of this. And I just thought they were really cute um, little appliques with a bit of dangle. I think this is the white and I think I got them in an off-white. Which was... I don't think there's much difference between them. Let me look. Oh, there is. There is. I don't know. So, so these are the off-white or cream. But 
I don't know if the camera will show. It might show. Um, so these were like, I think, £3 for a bag of 10 or something. So I've got those. Um, and she had these. Again, I got the white and the off-white. And these are just little leaves with a corded hook on them. And I think these were £2 a bag. I'm not sure of the colour difference. It's very subtle, but this, this is like a slight ivory and this is a white. But it really is very subtle. I can hear my son getting up. It is a work morning. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> couldn't sleep so I thought I'd come and do this whilst I couldn't sleep. Um, I think there's 10 in here as well. These are like just little appliques and I think these were £3 for the bag of 10. So gorgeous. And I've got one, one neck piece. I think is so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think that was one pound fifty. Um, and then from her vintage section, I got these. These are really heavily beaded appliques and they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And they really are quite heavy. Um, and also from there, she had these which oh, I fell in love with. These are beaded tassels and I mean this this bead alone weighs quite a lot but if you can imagine these are all beaded all the tassels let me spread them out a bit aren't they gorgeous <laughs> and I just fell in love with them because they're clear and I just thought oh, <laughs> they're absolutely gorgeous and they're really, really quite weighty for a, a tassel, really. But I just fell in love with them. So that's what I bought there. And then my... Um, hang on. My car boot haul, which isn't huge, but, but really, I was really happy with what I did find. Um, I've only been to one so far this year and, <coughs> excuse me, I found this lady had a stall just with, um, she used to do sewing when she was younger and she had a few cards of lace and I just picked up the ones that I really like. This is um, a beautiful cotton lace and it's um, in the beige colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I've got that and I'd say there's a couple of metres on that. Um, she had this beautiful eyelet lace which I love. I can find them in to show you. There we go. It's absolutely beautiful. So I've got that. And there again, there's a, probably maybe two metres of that. Maybe. Or three, maybe. And then this, oh, this card of 
this um, lace, which is an eyelet with the insert as well, which I love. <laughs> it's really pretty. And there's quite a bit on this one. I, this was still wrapped up. Um, I think it says 15, 15 yards on there. So I was really happy with those. Put them to the side. I found a few doilies. Uh, this one's like a yellow, but I thought um, I'm not a, a oh, I'm not a huge fan of yellow, but um, I can tea dye that if I don't use it the way it is. I've washed these, but I haven't ironed them yet, so they're a bit wrinkly. I found this one. Most of these was from one person, and it, it was twenty pence per item, <laughs> so. I wasn't going to leave them there, so I need to iron, iron them, but they have been washed. Um, this one, which I love. <laughs> no mean doilies. This one, I'm just going to go through them really quick. This little one, which is really cute. Another one of these. Beautiful. Oh, these are two tiny little ones. Great for flowers. <laughs> um, this one and this one. Uh, two of these. I love this one. <laughs> I love the ruffle on the outside. Really love it. Nice gathered ruffle. So that's great. This one, which is similar to ones I showed you. This one's embroidered on the centre, which is really pretty. No, that's the back. Yeah, that way. Love that. And then two pink ones of these. And that one, which I was really happy with, all those, but I do need to iron them. Um, I found this store and she had a, uh, they'd done a house clearance and she had a box with some really, really heavily um, rusty uh, tablecloths. Um, and she only wanted 50 pence per tablecloth because the, the tablecloth was so badly rusted. But a couple of them had really nice lace on. So I bought them and I cut um, off um, the lace from the tablecloth because of the rust. So um, this is quite, so that's one quarter of the lace. Um, so there's quite a lot of lace there for 50 pence. Um, I'm just looking whether there's any rust on this lace. One of them had a little spot oh, after I washed it. I don't think it's this one. But that was 50p. So I was really happy with that. And I got a second one, which I love this lace on this one. Oh, this has got a few rust spots on this one. So this is the second one, which is beautiful. But you can see there is a tiny rust spot on there. There's a few, I think there's a couple of um, rust spots on this one. But for 50 pence to get this lace, and there's a few holes in this one, like there. But, you know, on... As a on a project, this lace will look beautiful. So I don't mind for fifty pence. I am not going to leave that there because I mean I I could see that the lace didn't have that much rust on it compared to what the the tablecloth did. Um. 
so I'm really happy I picked those up. And this is the last thing, which is, she had it um, described as a tablecloth, but I think it's more of uh, a bed cover, a bed quilt. And um, you can see it's really, it's, it's really, really big. I'm just wondering if I can get an edge. And it's all made up of these squares. Now, it's not um, really, really vintage or anything. It's very, very soft. Um, but it's beautiful. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's huge. And it would make a beautiful bed um, cover, you know, uh, bedspread. Um, and when I asked her how much it was, um, she said three pound. So I had to have it. It is so soft, so beautiful, and it is perfect. I have washed it. I have checked every inch of it. There's not a mark on it, and I mean, it really is very, very large. You can see how large it is, and that's all beautiful and soft and oh. So for three pound, I think that was my bargain of the day because it is absolutely gorgeous, really beautiful and soft and vintage looking, but I wouldn't say um, really, really vintage. So that's my haul and I'll be back soon with the project. Bye for now.